Greetings from Elite English Academy. Dear friends, in this lesson, let me discuss the important and interesting lesson, intonation. This particular topic is part of UGTRB and SERT exam syllabus. In addition to that, all UG and PG students, as part of their phonetics paper, they study this lesson. So definitely, it will be useful for them also. First, let me introduce uh, what is an intonation. So, when we speak in general, there are two things. One is, what do we speak? Another one is, how do we speak? What do we speak is all about the content we have. For example, if you are talking about a house, so that is the content. But how do we speak? So, that is uh, when we uh, raise our tone, sometimes the voice uh, falls. So, this is concentrating on the intonation. So, intonation means how do we say things in our day-to-day -day conversation. So, content is what do we speak. So, that we are not talking about that in this lesson. We are concentrating on how do we talk about certain things. So, that's all about intonation. It is nothing but just rise and fall of our tone while we are speaking. So, there are two types of uh, intonations. One is uh, falling intonation, another one is rising intonation. If you take example in a sentence, falling intonation is marked like this, right? So, the rising intonation is marked like this. So, these are the basic templates available in uh, phonetics. Now, uh, so in what are the ways? we use uh, falling intonation for example so what happens when we use a uh, falling intonation so when we speak our voice falls at the end when we speak if our voice falls at the ends or we, if the voice uh, goes down that is called falling intonation next let me introduce uh, what are the occasions in which uh, we use falling things first one is statement so when we make a statement we use a falling intonation then we order so when we command we use falling intonation then i'll explain one by one now with the examples so when we ask wh questions seeking information then uh, we use falling intonation then when we ask uh, see normally question tags are used in uh, rising intonation but if we want to confirm uh, certain things so, by asking the tag questions, then we use a falling intonation, then exclamation. So, exclamation, surprise, all these things. So, at that time, we use falling intonation. So, these are the five things in which or five occasions in which we use a falling intonation. So, first, let me introduce a statements. Statements means ordinary sentence. For example, nice to meet you. So, nice to meet you, it should be mentioned like this. For example, here, if you read the sentence, naturally, at the end, your voice will fall. So, this is nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Second one, I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute, right? So, here also, we use fall. See, any kind of sentence which falls under the category so there is svo sv i o d o all these things so we use statements they are all ordinary statements which take falling intonation the next one she doesn't live here anymore she doesn't live here anymore so here we have falling intonation dad wants to change his car dad wants to change his car so again a falling intonation the next one here is the weather forecast here is the weather forecast so here the especially the last word it goes down next one cloudy weather is expected at the end of the week cloudy weather is expected at the end of the week so ordinary statements they take uh, 
following intonation. We should work together more often. We should work together more often. So uh, even if you do not conscious of what we speak, naturally our sentence will fall at the end. So you will be using falling intonation. So I am going for a walk in the park. I am going for a walk in the park. So here naturally the falling intonation. Next, let me introduce commands. Actually, this is the one where many students commit mistake because normally, so take the book. So like that, so in our tone, psychologically speaking, we think, so we order, so our voice will raise. So in the intonation, we have to concentrate on the end of the last word. Then uh, let's see how uh, things work here. Write your name here. It comes here. Write your name here. So at the beginning in commands, at the beginning only we raise our tone, we raise our voice. Whereas at the end the voice goes down. Show me what you have written. Show me what you have written. So this is the typical sentence used by the teacher. Leave it on the desk. Leave it on the desk. Even at the beginning if you raise your voice. At the end, uh, naturally, it falls down. Take the picture down. So, take the picture down. It is mentioned like this. Throw that out. Throw that out. See, so when you say throw, so probably it may rise. But for this intonation type exercise, we have to concentrate only the end. Put your books on the table put your books on the table so here it goes down take your hands out of your pockets take your hands out of your pockets naturally this also goes down so from these examples it is visible so for commands or order so falling intonation is used wh question so in which we request information. They also take a falling intonation. So especially when the questions begin with who, what, why, where, when, which and how. So all these words take, if a question begins with these words, then it takes falling intonation. What country do you come from? What country do you come from? What's your name? Right? So, what's your name? So, falling intonation. Then we have, uh, where do you work? So, where do you work? So, at the beginning we raise. So, that should not be considered. Where do you work? So, it is the falling intonation. Which of them do you prefer? Which of them do you prefer? So, that is falling intonation. So, who will win the IPL this time? Who will win the IPL this time? So, this is also falling intonation. So, from this, we understand all the questions that begin with what, when, so who, how. So, all these question words, if the sentence begin or question begin, they take falling intonation only. Next, we have tag questions. So, tag questions will take both types of intonation, falling intonation and rising intonation. Whereas, especially, so when we confirm certain things with the help of tag questions, such questions will take falling intonation. I repeat, so tag questions will take both types of intonations, rising and falling. But when we ask a tag question for confirmation purpose, then such type of uh, tag questions will take falling intonation. Let me give you an example. First, he thinks he is so clever. Doesn't he? Right? Doesn't he? he so, so we know, so the understanding is we know somebody is thinking of himself as clever. So we confirm that with certain person. 
so we pronounce it like this he thinks he is so clever doesn't he let me give you another example you will understand it in a better way she is such a nuisance isn't she right she is such a nuisance isn't she that means both the speaker and listener know that someone is a nuisance so one person confirms that fact with the other one let me give further examples on that i failed the test because i didn't revise did i i failed the test because i didn't revise did i so because you yourself know the reason for failing in the examination so you confirm the fact with yourself next one it doesn't seem to bother him much does it it doesn't seem to bother him much does it so this also a fact which we know so it also takes falling intonation exclamations so we know exclamation mark is uh, it is uh, done like that so whenever a sentence ends with exclamation mark so naturally that takes falling intonation so let me introduce those things so how nice of you so a shortcut is whenever you find this exclamation mark at the end of the sentence you go for the selection of falling intonation how nice of you so you yourself can practice like that so that's just what i need that's just what i need what a beautiful voice what a beautiful voice that's a surprise that's a surprise right that's a surprise or that is a surprise so this also comes down so now uh, we have completed uh, the first uh, set so what are the occasions in which or what are the places in which we use falling intonation now we are going for the discussion of rising intonation so on paper rising intonation is mentioned like this so what happens when we go for rising intonation the pitch of the voice rises at the end of a sentence so one interesting uh, fact is the rising intonation invites the speaker to continue talking so what's your name someone asks so that says uh, john so it's over but whereas when we use rising intonation that forces the speaker to respond it is normally used with yes or no type questions question tags or uh, some of the other aspects now uh, let me introduce one by one first uh, yes or no type questions so yes or no type questions means when you ask that uh, yes or no type question so that will invite the answer either yes or no so let me give a, an example do you like your new teacher so do you like your new teacher so the voice rises have you finished already have you finished already may I borrow your dictionary may I borrow your dictionary do you have any magazines do you have any magazines do you sell stamps do you sell stamps so these are the questions they invite the answer either yes or no so naturally as per the rule it invites an answer from the listener further examples can i pay by phone pay can i pay by phone pay did you attend the training yesterday did you attend the training yesterday are they twins are they twins can you drive can you drive so when we ask these yes or no type questions naturally they take rising intonation then question tags that show uncertainty and require an answer so dear students i like to draw your attention to the usage of question tags already in the part of falling intonation so when your question tag is asked to confirm things that will take falling intonation 
all other types of question tags will take only rising intonation. We have met already, haven't we? We have met already, haven't we? You like fish, don't you? You are a new student, aren't you? The view is beautiful, isn't it? So I hope you get the point here. We have met already, haven't we? You like fish, don't we? So you are a new student, aren't you? The view is beautiful, isn't it? So here it takes the rising intonation. Now we have another category. Rise fall or fall rise intonation. Rise fall and fall rise intonation. So especially when we go for choices, alternative questions. So we have the first part as rising intonation and the second part as a falling intonation. Look at the first example here. Are you having soup or salad? Are you having soup or salad? I hope you get the things. So far, in each and every sentence that we discussed, there was only one uh, intonation, either uh, fall or rise. Now we have two within the same sentence. Are you having soup or salad? Is John leaving on Thursday? or Friday? Is John leaving on Thursday or Friday? Does he speak German or French? Is your name Maria or Jane? So here these are the examples. So just keep it in your mind like that. When you have two choices in a sentence, first choice will take rising intonation and the second choice will take falling intonation. Then another interesting type. So when we go for enumeration or list. So except the last word. All other intonation, all other words will take rising. So rise, rise, rise and fall. The last alone will have the falling intonation. Now let me give you the example. We have got apples, grapes, bananas and oranges. So let me give. So we have got apples, we have got grapes, bananas and oranges. It goes like that. The sweater comes in blue, white, pink and black. So I like football, tennis, basketball and volleyball. I bought a t-shirt, a skirt and a handbag. So here the number of lists change. So in each list there are three or four or five but only one rule. Only the last word, last option will take falling intonation whereas the rest of the options will take only rising intonation. Let me give uh, one more different type of example. Gold, platinum, silver or very precious metals. So here some students used to find uh, uh, difficulty regarding this sentence because gold, platinum, silver. So with that it is over. But whereas uh, metals also together uh, it uh, comes under the same category. So it goes like that. Gold, platinum, silver or very precious metals. So what is the last word metals will take following intonation. Then we have got conditional sentences. Conditional sentences means so the if class. Right? So the here it is very simple. The first part or the conditional part will take the rising intonation whereas the uh, consequent part so the uh, fulfilling part will have the following intonation for example so if he calls right if he calls ask him to leave a message if he calls ask him to leave a message unless he insists i am not going to go unless he insists it is the sentence is not complete i am not going to go if you have any problems, just contact us. 
if you have any problem just contact us so the first part conditional part takes the rising tone whereas the fulfilling part consequent part takes the falling intonation so this is a tricky category unfinished thoughts unfinished thoughts or partial statements uh, here uh, uh, do you like my new handbag well uh, the leather is nice see someone comes and asks you so how is my dress you want to respond but if you are not convinced that dress is good then how will you say uh, yes uh, your uh, dress is beautiful uh, but the color is... so you will be just uh, stumbling to respond naturally so when you have unfinished or partial statements so that will take uh, so before the, the first part takes the rising intonation and the next part uh, takes the falling intonation look at the next example what was the meal like mm. uh, the fish was uh, like uh, the fish was uh, good and uh, what about this mobile phone the mobile's uh, features are good uh, but uh, the display is not uh, that much big see, see the first part rises when we start but naturally there is a fall so you both live in uh, madras or los angeles uh, well alex uh, does see uh, when you are not able to convey the thought properly naturally so the first part will take the rising intonation and the last part will take the falling intonation then we have a fall rise intonation so this happens within one word please understand so far our discussion was based on sentences so now we have a fall rise intonation so manually if you do it it comes like this right it comes like that it starts uh, fall then it goes uh, here next so the main purpose of this fall rise intonation is uh, to show the speaker certain things are not uh, uh, proper and uh, when we go for suggestion so these are the things are used let me give you samples uh, so you would be willing to confirm that well i suppose so well i suppose so here uh, hesitation is there how didn't how didn't see him on monday you didn't see him mon on monday i don't quite uh, remember uh, see so when you have doubt so when you want to use a specific word which indicates your doubt then uh, you will see it is not the normal stress pattern so if within the word you will have the fall and rising intonation now we have come to the last but interesting part of the lesson so we may use uh, three different types of tonal variation so when we use a particular noun or a word sometimes we may use it uh, in a sense of recognition sometimes in the sense of surprise we may use sometimes it may be a kind of sense of aversion so first one when we have the recognition so you happen to see your friend after many years uh, but you are not uh, sure uh, someone is uh, that person uh, nancy right right nancy you are nancy right so we we studied together so here it takes the falling intonation the next one surprise so when you happen to see your friend after many years so naturally the surprise element comes nancy so nancy so the surprise element comes then uh, the third one is the tricky one so that is sense of aversion takes rise and fall intonation so it takes rise and fall intonation nancy say nancy john right right nancy nancy so here you express your hatred towards it
dear friends i hope uh, the lesson was very useful so we have discussed more examples in the main course if you wish to join us feel free to call us in the given number thank you all the very best